Do you guys still send out Christmas cards or is that like a thing of the past? Hello sweet friends, my name is Angie and welcome to the Bumblebee Farmhouse. Today I have such a fun and beautiful home decor and lifestyle haul. If you guys want to hang around, I definitely recommend sticking around. I am going to start with the lifestyle and fashion haul. If you guys want to get directly to the home decor, go ahead and fast forward to the 5 minute and 40 second portion of this video. Hey friends, welcome back to the Bumblebee Farmhouse. My name is Angie. If you guys are new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you guys are here. And if you guys are returning, welcome back. I am so happy to have you guys here today on my channel. Today I have a haul of lots of good things, um, mainly Christmas with a couple of just kind of cottagey, um, everyday home items, and then a kind of lifestyle and fashion piece, which I'm so, so excited about. So as you guys know, the holidays are coming up, so I want to decorate our home and give out some amazing gifts and I'm just so excited about everything that I have here today. So I have an item here from Teak One, which I'm really excited because they sent me a gorgeous handbag. And if you guys don't know by now, or know me by now, I love a beautiful handbag. And I feel like all women love beautiful handbags. And so they sent me one, um, they let me choose, and I'm gonna show you guys this is the box that it comes in. So you guys, I'm thinking holidays, is now is a good time to treat yourself, or if you're looking to gift something, this would be a great option. I'm gonna link all of the information down below in the description box, and I'm gonna also leave a discount code where you guys can save some money. So here's the bag. Let me just move the box out of the way. So the bag itself comes with a dust bag to protect it. And here is the gorgeous new bag that I got. I think it's like an envelope style bag. You can see, looks like an envelope. I really love this beige color, gold hardware. Let me just take off all of these little, they have it packed up really nice so everything is protected. They do have it packed really nice so that the bag doesn't get flattened or wrinkled or anything. So as you can see, they stuffed it too, which is a big plus. So it's an envelope style bag. It's got lots of engraving and stamping throughout the bag. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. This is in the larger size. I think they had two or three different sizes. I did choose the larger. I think it's perfect because I do carry a lot of stuff with me, um, especially if I'm filming, like I'll wanna bring my DJI camera with me, a tiny tripod. Um, so I do prefer a larger style bag only because I do bring some of my filming equipment with me, but here is the size of the bag. I love the color. I love that it's got gold hardware. It does have an extra large and deep pocket in the back. It goes all the way across. Again, look at all that beautiful gold hardware. Now, there is stamping on the handles, right? Yes, there is. Let me just show you guys. Engraving and stamping on the handles. And then there is engraving also on certain parts of the hardware. So like in through here where the chains loop, there is engraving on there as well. Open it up. It does have a magnetic clasp, which I really appreciate because you don't have to sit there and try to like force the button to go down to close. So you open it up. Um, I'm totally wearing this on a date night soon or just shoot out anywhere. It's so pretty. So when you open it up, it does have stamping on the inside engraving. It is quite spacious and large and it does have stamping on the inside as well and it also has a fairly large zipper to show you but the zipper on here also does have engraving on the um, hardware i just opened it up the zipper opens up really nice and it does have a fairly large pocket on the inside look at how big the inside of this bag is i love a big gorgeous bag so pretty again i love the muted nude color i think it is perfect and again like look how much room is on the inside it's like so much room such a big deep bag it's got like kind of a velour um, microfiber lining such a beautiful beautiful bag i love the envelope style again it's got the really beautiful hardware on here i mean you could probably put so much in here like i'll just throw my phone 
and it's got so much room. So you can probably fit a lot back there. So having the large pocket in the back is really, really nice. Let me just show you how it wears. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. On the side, could adjust the straps too and make it one longer strap if you wanted to wear it. Oh, it's got a lot of stitching. Feels very sturdy. So I wanna thank Teak One for sending me this gorgeous bag. Again, I'm going to link it down below in the description box and I'm also gonna leave a discount where you guys can shop. Everybody loves to save some money. So I'm gonna have that all listed down below. And if you guys like this bag or any other bag, definitely check them out. They have a large selection. She's just gorgeous, isn't she beautiful? Now that we had fun with that, let's go ahead and get into the home decor. Um, I have some beautiful Christmas items that I'm so excited about. Um, so my theme for Christmas this year is gonna be pretty similar to all the other years. I think I might just do one tree this year versus two, we'll see. I've had a lot of stuff going on this year, a lot happening in my life and life has been kind of stressful to the point where I almost gave up YouTube for a hot minute, but um, Danny told me, my husband Danny reminded me that it does make me happy and to keep with it. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys what I'm thinking about doing for Christmas this year. My thoughts on Christmas this year is lots and lots of greenery and twinkling lights and Obviously, I'm gonna have a beautiful Christmas tree. I think I'm gonna stick with my country ornaments, but then I wanna add some extra copper accents, um, which kind of goes with my copper accents in our kitchen. And um, really, I just want lots of greenery and just a touch, maybe a little bit more of a, than a touch of antiques because I love Christmas antiques. So let's go ahead and get into that part because this is so exciting. So if you guys don't watch my channel then, and you love antiques and Christmas antiques and vintage, definitely subscribe. I mean, I would love to have you guys part of my YouTube family regardless, not just for antiques, but if you guys haven't seen my channel, I take you on a lot of trips with me to a lot of antique malls and thrift shops. Um, or just vintage shops, but there's so much good stuff out there. So let me show you the first thing that I got. And this is from, I think, Old Orchard Antique Mall in Door County. These are so beautiful. I paid $20 for the set. I don't need any more vintage Santas, but I don't have these or this style. I'm, I don't know, do I? I'm not even sure. But these are so cute. So it's a salt and pepper set shaker set and they're just adorable he's jolly santa like what's not to love about a happy happy santa um that's how i like to see santa like vintage and jolly but i just think this is so cute now i picked these up at an antique mall up in northern wisconsin old orchard antique mall up in door county and these were i think with a discount because the the, the antique mall closes for the season. I want to say I paid around $22 for the set. I didn't think that that was bad at all. I thought that that was an extremely fair price for being vintage. So um, again, I just think that they're so, so pretty and so cute and I just love him. Look at him. He's so jolly. So I'm definitely going to display these. Just really all around cute. And then the next two antique pieces that I have are from the same shop. And you guys, these are so beautiful. And I have some pieces that are similar to this. Um, I don't know who makes them. They're just as made in Japan on the bottom, but they're candle holders. I have similar pieces, but I don't have these. So I wanna kinda add them to the collection and display them. Um, but look at how beautiful these are. Aren't those gorgeous? They're candle holders. Now the set was, I think 25, I think I paid 20 or 22 for the set with a discount. But these are so unique, I love them. So I have like the choir boys, the little angel girl. Um, I have the um, Ch Child Christ, I think statue. And so I thought I would add these and make like a really lovely display with these items. It's just so beautiful. So I like that they're both the same, but kind of different. I don't know if I'll add candlesticks to them, but I just thought that they were perfect. So here's, let me just show them one at a time. Look at the beautiful striking blue eyes. I love blue eyes. I think they are gorgeous. So I love that these had blue eyes. And then let me show you the other one. Look how beautiful that is. Beautiful, right? I thought so too. 
so pretty, such a steal, such a find, really. Um, you know when you see something and you just fall in love with it? That's me, so I got these. All right, the next Christmas item that I picked up was from the Hallmark store. Nothing super special. I just picked up a pack of Christmas cards because I think I'm gonna send out some cards this year. It's like vintage Santas, right? Yeah, like different kind of vintage looking Santas. So I wanna send out some Christmas cards. So they also gave me some really pretty um, gold seals for my envelopes. So I think I am gonna send out some Christmas cards this year. Do you guys still send out Christmas cards or is that like a thing of the past? I don't do it every year, but I definitely think I wanna send out a few this year. Okay, next item that I got are these Kurt, Kurt Adler um, flickering flame candle sets for the trees. I think these are gorgeous. Let me just show you really quick. These look like there's an actual candle with the flame on your Christmas tree. And I have like three sets, but I added to, wanted to add one more this year. So here is what they look like. And then they have clips on them and you um, can attach the sets together and you clip them on the tree or wherever you want to. And it really does give you a look of a beautiful, old fashioned Christmas. I've had these displayed on my trees in the last like probably three-ish years. Um, I fell in love with these when I first saw them on a Christmas tree out in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And I was just so excited when I saw that I found them on Amazon. So, and they were about the same price. I think they were 22 or $23 a set. But they really do give your Christmas tree like an old school, vintage, old fashioned, kind of old world Christmas feel. And I am here for it. I love it. So I did pick, purchase one more set from Amazon. All right, next item I got from Home Goods. These are so pretty and I was hoping that they would have had more, but I only saw one set. So I grabbed the one set. Um, I'm gonna probably run into Home Goods tonight to see if I can find any more. If I can, wonderful. If I can't, I'm just gonna have to work with what I have. But these are totally my vibe right now. They're like coppery kind of rose goldy Christmas ornaments and they are so gorgeous. I'm gonna open them up to show you what each one looks like. But it was only $15 for this set. And honestly, if they had like two more sets, if I can find two more sets, I will get them. Because even if I don't display them on my Christmas tree, what I'm planning on doing is putting them, I think like in a blue and white bowl in my, in my, my Christmas, in a blue and white bowl in my kitchen because my kitchen is a lot of copper and blue and white. And I kind of, I think I want to keep the copper blue and white out for Christmas and maybe just add a little bit of red. But um, I think that's the route I'm gonna go this Christmas with some greenery. And I think these would be so pretty in a bowl. So let me open them up and show you what they look like. So this one is my favorite because it looks like mercury glass. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So this one looks like mercury glass. I really do love this one. And then there's just a regular shiny one. They don't feel like glass. I don't know, are they plastic? I'm not sure. So that's just the shiny one. Look how pretty these would all be like together. And then this one is more like a muted kind of matte copper, coppery kind of rose gold, but regardless, just so pretty. I love these. So I can't wait to display them somehow in our kitchen. They are just beautiful. Okay, the next thing that we have that's kind of cottagey and farmhouse, um, I purchased one from a local shop here in Northern Illinois. It's called Urban Farm Girl and they have some of the most beautiful things. Um, I believe they're doing their Christmas open house this week or next week, which I really wanna go to because they just bring in like some of the dreamiest Christmas decor. And even if I don't buy sometimes, it's just fun to look at. So I have this cute little bag and I don't have a lot in here. I just have one item. But one item that I fell deeply in love with, like I need any more salt and pepper shakers, but they're copper and they are perfect for our kitchen. Just open them up. And the price on these wasn't bad because I think I paid, sit on here, $16.50, or no, $16. And I believe on Amazon, I found the exact same ones on some other websites. You were looking at like $25 to $35 for the set. So let me show them to you. They are so pretty. 
and they're basic, but they're kind of like hammered copper. And you have salt right here and pepper right there, salt and pepper. Oh, I mean, I'll probably put salt and pepper here, but I think mainly they'll be more for like display, like in a little nook in our kitchen, just to kind of add like some copper accents. Um, but even on the table to be used, very pretty. So again, if you guys don't know, I have a lot of blue and white in my kitchen and lots of cream and copper. And I just think that these are perfect. So I did get these and I'm really glad that I got them because they are just beautiful. Next item is from Sur La Table or Sur La Table. I, I call it Sur La Table. I have a few items from Sur La Table. They are kind of pricey and there's not one near where I live anymore. The one that used to be near my old house was like 25 minutes away, but they closed that location. And I think the closest one would be Naperville, Illinois, and I'm not driving to Naperville. So I do shop online once in a while and I do find some things. And I had, I had found these really beautiful oven safe bowls. Now you can eat whatever you want out of them, but I love these because you can make individual like pot pies or soup and put them in the oven or just anything. They're like a super gratin dish or bowl, however you wanna look at it. Now I have something similar from Crate and Barrel and they're just basic white, but these are the lion's head bowls. And you guys, they had a big sale on these. So um, I purchased one set myself and then the other set, a really good friend of mine, my friend Faith sent me for my birthday. And they're just like cottagey and antique looking and farmhouse and I just love them so. Um, I have eight total that I got. Here they are in the box. I have not opened this box up yet. This was one of my birthday gifts, so yeah. And I just think that they're so pretty, even displayed, like, even on a shelf in your kitchen, or even if you like display them um, in a glass cabinet if you have, but they're very functional too, because like I said, I've made um, French onion soup, chicken or turkey pot pie, and I've used these to cook them in the oven and they are just perfect and functional, but like beautiful. I want functional, but I also want beautiful. Okay, and then for Christmas, I got this really beautiful dish towel. It is a flour sack kitchen cloth. Now I found this at Vintage Bliss in Wisconsin. The booth had one and I bought it for $5 because these cloths are like, 13 to $15 at specialty shops. And I'm only saying that because I go to a lot of the specialty shops, but I was also in Door County this past month and they sold a bunch of this brand, exactly like this, different patterns. Um, and they were going for like 13, 12 to $13 for one. So I picked this up for $4.95, I couldn't pass it up. I actually think I'm gonna give this to my mom for Thanksgiving. We're gonna be um, at my family's for Thanksgiving this year and it's so cute. So I figured I'm gonna give her something to kind of help her be in better spirits. There's a lot going on right now. Um, so I'm just trying to cheer up my mom's spirits. So I got her this cute little dishcloth and I'm probably gonna give her some really nice hand soaps from Bath and Body Works for the holidays just to kind of like perk her up and put her in good spirits. But I thought this was really cute and it was such a good deal. And look at the print. I mean, it's so cute. It's like, what well, a beagle puppy with a kitten and the beagle puppy is wearing a hat with a bird on it and the hat is made out of um, like musical notes, like paper. And then the kitten is got like a drum and like a bell. I don't know, it's just really cute. And I thought my mom would love this for her kitchen. So I did pick this up from Vintage Bliss in Beloit, Wisconsin. And I just thought this is like a perfect part of a gift to give. And then the last item that I have is from Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, you guys, I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and I filmed just a little bit, so I might put a little video of that out. But there's so much stuff that I wanted in there, but I had to think more practical. Like, what am I gonna use more? What do I love the most? What do I kind of already have that's like it? You know, do I really love it that much? So what I wanted to do was spend money, but not a ton, that would make like a big, impact for Christmas in our home. And so what I was thinking of are these little wreaths and they're all the same. I purchased nine. I don't know if I'm gonna keep all nine or just do seven, but you guys will see in an upcoming video what I'm gonna do with these. And these were such a good deal. They only, let's see, $9.99, I mean $9, $8.99, and then 50% off. So I paid $4.50 each. I didn't think that that was a bad deal at all, but like, look at how gorgeous these are. They kind of look like that really realistic Norfolk pine, which I have some Norfolk pine garlands. I might purchase a big Norfolk pine wreath, 
but the mini wreaths, yes please, for $4.50. And these have like these little, they kind of look like, I don't know if they're like these little berries or pine cones and it looks like maybe there's frost on them. Let me see if I can, there we go, you can see them. Um, so they're kind of scattered all the way around and then you can see how realistic the um, pine on here looks. So I'm going to put these in our house to make a big impact or pop a big punch um, without, I don't want my house to look too over cluttered for Christmas this year. I want to put out my most favorite pieces, but that doesn't mean I have to put out every single piece. And I'm just kind of learning that as I get older, um, work with what you love at the moment. And that's what I'm going to do. So I definitely want a ton of greenery. And so I purchased nine of these <laughs> and I'll just show you the bag briefly. This is like a big bag full of greenery. And I think I paid $39.50. Let me where's my receipt? Is it 39? 39. Oh, maybe I got eight. It says eight at $449 each. I'm not sure. I have to go back and look. I can always go purchase more if I need to. But it was $39.06. And I think for $39. This is going to pack a big punch in our home for the holidays. And so that's what I'm looking for. Easy, elegant, beautiful, simple, and affordable. So for $39, I'm hoping that eight or nine of these can kind of pack a big punch around our home. And that's what I'm looking to do. And I just, again, I love how realistic th these look. And that's what I was going for. I want something that looks extremely, extremely realistic. And I think that this, fits the bill. I think that this definitely fits the bill. Well, you guys, that concludes my Christmas and antique, Christmas and Christmas antique and kind of cozy cottage with a little bit of lifestyle haul. I am so glad that you guys could hang out with me here today at the Bumblebee Farmhouse and that you could join me. Um, I'm just so, so glad that we got to spend a little bit of time together. It has been a while since I've kind of shown my face on camera. Like I said, life has been stressful and busy and hectic and that's just life, right, for all of us. But I'm glad that I got to sit down with you guys for a little bit. I'm, I'm glad that you guys hung out for this haul. If you made it all the way to the very end, again, I want to thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. It means so much to me. And um, I hope that you found a little bit of inspiration to make your house a home sweet home. Because I always say that I hope that the Mumblebee Farmhouse is a place where you can find a little bit of inspiration to make your house a home sweet home. And I always end it with, and don't forget, as Dorothy Gill once said, there's no place like home. That's right, sweet friends. Home, sweet home. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.